Hi everybody, my name is Clinton Jones and today we're talking about special visual effects. Today we're talking about visual effects, not special effects. That's all the stuff that you do on set, like the pyrotechnicians, they're blowing stuff up. That's a special effect. Anything on set, anything practical. We're talking visual effects. So... So, comp compositing, let's talk about compositing. Compositing is when you take all of your assets, like you take your fake explosion, or you take your smoke asset, or you take your magic castle background that you wanna put into your video. You take all those layers and you stack them on top of each other to make them fit the scene. That's compositing. Taking all your elements, bringing it into one final good looking piece of footage. Tracking is when you replicate and apply the camera movement from the shot on that day to elements that were not there in the shot. Like, let's just say that your footage is doing this. And it's like, well, I need to like, tell the computer to focus on this movement, right? You, you choose tracking points in the footage and, and you're like, okay, now that I have that data, I'm going to parent this to the actual footage. So now it's blended into the scene. Does that make sense? So with tracking, you have 2D and then you have 3D. 2D is when your camera is on like a fixed point and it's just tilting and panning and looking around, right? It's not actually moving in 3D space. A 3D track is when the camera is doing all those things, but also moving through 3D space, right? Traveling through 3D space. Here's an example of a bad track. You can tell that it's not stuck to the footage. You can, it looks very strange, very abnormal. Like this, this thing actually isn't here. This looks fake. This is bad B-movie kind of material compared to a good track. And in a good track, you shouldn't be able to tell what is fake, right? If it's composited well, and if it's tracked well, then the effect should be invisible. So rotoscoping, <sighs> rotoscoping. Rotoscoping is when you manually cut out something in the frame, frame by frame for like the whole shot. And it's very tedious, very, very, very time consuming. Let's say you have a person and you wanna put an explosion behind them. Your footage is only one layer, so you need to cut me out frame by frame to add that explosion back here. I, I need to make me, myself a new layer in front of this explosion. Here is a good rotoscope. You can't really tell that they're rotoscoped out. It just looks, it looks normal. You know, the edges look clean. Uh, there's a bunch of detail there that's feathered where it needs to be feathered. Keying, right? Keying, green screens, blue screens. You're selecting that color and you're saying, hey computer, I wanna see everything but that color. Just take away that color. You need a color that people are not wearing. Like if you ever watch like the weatherman footage and like their shirt's missing, it looks like they're just a floating head in some pants. Make sure your actors are not wearing any blue. You for whatever reason can't film on location or something's too dangerous. Like in Jess's Big Date when Joey had to be standing right in front of his car that was getting blown up, glass was flying everywhere. And then you just piece those two together. The camera shouldn't have moved and you get something that, that looks pretty dangerous and pretty cool. So matte paintings have been around for a very long time. What people used to do is like put up a piece of glass and then paint on the glass, you know, painstakingly just paint everything with a brush and actually get it there in camera and you composite it. Now we're lucky enough to be able to do it in the computer. And then you save out that image file, give it to the compositor, right? Because they're gonna take that image, they're gonna composite it into the shot. They're probably gonna motion track it if the shot's moving. All of these effects, all of these kind of um, tools are all used in pretty much the majority of most VFX shots. Then you got 3D stuff. You can model anything, trucks, cars, planes, tanks, whatever you can think in your head, you can model. It's like sculpting, right? And then you have texturing, which is essentially coloring. You can simulate explosions. You can simulate things breaking apart. You can simulate water. You can simulate any sort of like liquid or fluid. You got particle effects, which are tiny little points, thousands, millions of little points that add up to make water or add up to make smoke or add up to make fire. It's particle effects, you can do a lot with that. Lighting, right? Just like we light here right now with these, all these lights, you light in 3D. So you set up your fake lights and they all do different things. You have rigging and rigging is when you set up like a character to move. Like you say, here are all the joints and here are the bones. You actually have put in all the bones, you put in all the joints and then you connect them all so that when you grab this part, like the whole arm moves. Once your character is rigged, then you can animate it, right? So that gets into the character animation, which is a whole thing. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. 
So working in programs like 3ds Max or Maya or Blender or Cinema 4D, these are all 3D programs where you can do a number of things. So that's all the 3D stuff, there's a lot. We'll touch on that stuff later, but this whole video is an overview for you guys. So now like you know what tools you have at your disposal and you can start looking up tutorials for stuff, for all these things, right? And getting good at all these things. Um, we have links down below uh, for tutorials and sites that we like. Um, but yeah, the whole point is to tell awesome stories. This is another, VFX is another tool for you guys to tell really cool stories with. Um, so good luck on your VFX journeys and your storytelling journeys, and I'll see you guys next time.